In this problem, we're given the position vector, and we have to find the velocity vector, the speed, and the acceleration vector. So let's go ahead and go through it very, very carefully. So solution. So to find the velocity vector, all we have to do is take the derivative of the position vector. So the velocity vector, v of t, is simply the derivative of r. So taking the derivative of 4t, that's going to give us 4. Then we have the i hat. Plus taking the derivative of 7t will give us 7. And we have the j hat. And taking the derivative of 4t will give us 4. And we have our k hat. So that's it. That would be the velocity function or the velocity vector valued function. To find the speed, recall that speed is the magnitude of velocity. So speed is equal to the magnitude of the velocity. And this is equal to the square root of each of the components squared. So it'll be 4 squared plus 7 squared plus 4 squared. So this is equal to, and I have a calculator here, so I'm not going to do any unnecessary <laughs> uh, thought processes. Oh, how nice. The square root of 81. That's so good because that's equal to 9. So the speed is constant. It's always equal to 9 no matter what. The last thing to do is figure out the acceleration. So the acceleration is the derivative of the velocity. So here, when you take the derivative of 4, you get 0 i hat. Taking the derivative of 7, you get 0 j hat. Taking the derivative of 4, you get 0 k hat. And so this is a vector. So in this case, it really does matter that you put the vector symbol. So it's 0. So the acceleration is equal to 0. Situations like this really require that you know you you put you know the arrow there. You know if you're if you're doing a problem and you do this, it's not that big of a deal because from context it's really clear that it's a vector. But uh, differentiating between the number zero and the vector zero, I think, is really really important. So really key to recognize that this is actually a vector, and this is actually a number, right? This is nine. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.